For today's video, I'll give you some hopefully interesting advice when it comes to communicating with your interviewer based on their age. And the primary reason why I'm doing this video is because I have uh, previous experience talking with these people and uh, quite a few of these actually turned from interviewees to interviewers. And uh, there are a couple of uh, trends, a couple of things, a couple of keywords that you would want to keep in mind while uh, formulating your answers and essentially selling yourself on your strengths here. Uh, so there are primarily three age groups here. So there's the Gen Y, those are, you know, the youngest of them all between uh, uh, born between the uh, 80s and uh, late 90s, so basically 20 to late 30s of age. And uh, the particularity with this age group is that they were born with the internet in a way. So they take technology for granted and uh, they are uh, doers and multitaskers. So uh, if they do take these uh, things uh, seriously and uh, they uh, consider people who are high performers to be doers and multitaskers, then you, of course, you would want to automatically advertise yourself as, uh, as one of them. Uh, now, what are some other keywords that you, you might want to, to consider using uh, that might sell well with them? Uh, would be community, for example, or um, connections, which is something that goes very well uh, nowadays with uh, social media networks. Um, and technology in general, you might also uh, talk about uh, evidence because, uh, you know, if, uh, if uh, 20 years ago, for example, in human resources, um, there was nothing about evidence and data-based, uh, data-driven recruiting, nowadays it's all about evidence and uh, looking at the data, looking, um, you know, in a, in a way at, at your past uh, past experience to predict your future performance on the job. So evidence is also another keyword that you would want to uh, use with uh, Gen Y interviewers. So I also link these things in the video description if you if you want to, to refer to these later on. The second age group here would be the Gen X. So these would be people uh, slightly older than the Gen Y. So uh, between uh, starting with uh, the early 40s and the late 50s. Now, this is the, the particularity about this generation is that um, they were born uh, before the internet became mainstream. So uh, this means that many of them had to adapt to the internet and uh, most of them did. But uh, the thing here is that you should, uh, you should really brainstorm of what they value the most as being someone who did not grow with the internet. So, um, before the internet and before the multitasking and the reactive type of work, the creativity was more of a thing. Uh, also, many of these uh, people valued a lot more the work-life balance. So uh, even if nowadays you hear a lot about work-life balance and uh, this used to be a very uh, a, a buzzword in HR, the, this buzzword was actually created by Gen X people. So work-life balance will be something more interesting. And also another particularity about uh, Gen X is uh, they, are, they are a lot more skeptical than, uh, than the generation today. So I'm, I'm, I'm a Gen Y. So um, I know that people who are a bit older than me, who did not grow up with the internet, tend to be a lot more skeptical um, about, about things in general. So um, if you if you want, just be upfront with them and uh, try to be more transparent uh, talking to such people. And um, these also are, are, are likely the people who will challenge you the most. So uh, you should probably also challenge them in turn as well. So um, maybe last but not least when it comes to Gen X is uh, they also tend to distrust corporations a lot more gen than Gen Y for some, uh, for some reason. So um, also, you know, take, these, take all this information and based on this, try to communicate the best idea possible. And finally, the, the baby boomers. So this, this is the older generation, uh, 55 or, uh, or older. So by no means call them old, <laughs> you know, because they, they will not appreciate this. 
And uh, speaking of values and of keywords that you would want to use with these people, of course, uh, those were times where hard work was uh, particularly appreciated. And uh, needless to say, the people from this age group have uh, years of experience. So um, a couple of keywords that might rhyme qu quite well with them uh, could be respect or team or hard work or gratefulness. So um, these would be the, some of the elements that you would want to consider using. Um, last but not least here about the, the baby boomers. So they, I've, my experience talking to such people uh, was I was really impressed uh, with their uh, expertise and uh, knowledge of technology as, as a very, at a very deep level. So they really understand the backstory the root cause of things. So um, this might also, you know, so if you feel like your interviewer is, um, is someone who values these uh, in-depth discussions, then you should, of course, uh, adjust your communication style accordingly during uh, the job interview. So again, I posted these, uh, these keywords and these tips and tricks in the video description if you want to refer them again in order to tune up your uh, your answers and uh, you know decide for yourself basically what what sells best for you and uh, hopefully you found this information useful and thank you very much for watching